Well, hello again, and welcome to Kids Corner with Mom Bell. My name's Heather, and I'm married to Luke. I have two beautiful daughters and six handsome sons, and this is Just the Bell's 10. I'm so excited that you're joining me again today. So what we're going to make today is not chocolate chip cookies. Cookies? Hmm... I know that might sound a little confusing, but we're gonna be making cookies today with my basic chocolate chip batter recipe, but we're not gonna put chocolate chips in them. We're gonna choose other things. I have them right behind me, kind of hiding them. So when we get to that point, you'll be able to choose. So let's get started. Before we get started on our cookies, what are the two things we need to do? You gotta get your cooking sweater on. Cooking sweater, cooking sweater, cooking sweater, cooking sweater. And remember we forgot this halfway through? A cooking towel and it's Christmas so Mom Bell has this. But I think we'll do, should I flash it? No, let's not do flashing, okay. Here we go. So I got my cooking sweater, my cooking towel, and my Christmas headband. If you have a Christmas headband, or a Christmas hat, or ears or elf hat, go grab it, because it is the Christmas month, right? So go grab it, I'll wait a second. Okay, are you ready? But, what's the first thing we gotta do before we start cooking? Ugh. Right, we gotta dance, right? Okay, get your dancing shoes on. Are you ready? Let's go. <laughs> tired. Hold on one second. Okay. Woo. All right. Before we get started, I'm going to show you all of the ingredients we need to make our not chocolate chip cookie cookies. Ingredients next. Here Before we go. get started, I'm going to show you what we're going to need. So the first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be combining Crisco and butter. We're going to add white sugar brown sugar, eggs, and vanilla. We're gonna put them all in this bowl. As you can see, I've already added my two-thirds cup of butter and my two-thirds cup of shortening. After we've done that, we're gonna combine our three cups of flour, our teaspoon of baking soda, our teaspoon of salt, and our package of vanilla instant pudding mix. So, now that we have all our ingredients out, we're gonna get going. The first thing I'm going to do is cream our shortening and our butter. Like I said, it's two thirds cup of shortening and two thirds cup of butter. And look it, the sunshine is out. I think the sunshine came out for us because the sun knew we were going to be making cookies today. So we're going to take our mixer and if you need help, just ask your mom or dad. I'm going to turn this on. And we're gonna cream the butter and the shortening. What cream means is to mix it so it's nice and creamy and good. Because you don't wanna put it in separate, you want it to mix together or you might have chunks of butter. You might like take a big cookie and then you like, like you took a big chunk of shortening. So we're gonna cream them together. Cream them just means to mix them and beat them. See that, see how nice that is? Okay, perfect, that is beautiful. And just a little tip, when you use your butter, I would put it out on the counter so it gets soft, so you can, like, you can put your fingers in a little bit. See, I can squish my fingers a little bit. If you make it really hard, then it's gonna be hard to mix with your shortening, so you should be able to be able to push on it. 
See that? You should be able to push on it and it should leave like a little indent. All right, so our next step is to add our sugar. Now, of course, you know Mom Bell has eight kids. I have a son named Robert that loves cookies. He is the cookie monster, cookie monster. So when I make cookies, I have to do not one batch, not two batches, not three batches, but four batches of cookies. Holy camolies! So today I'm only gonna do a double batch, but you just use the ingredients that I tell you. If you would like to use, you know, do two batches, then you just double everything. So double means if we say one cup of white sugar, you're gonna add one plus one is two, right? So you're gonna double. Double means to take one number and add exactly the same number. So two plus two is four. Three plus three is six, so you're taking two numbers. Doubles means the same numbers, right? So I'm gonna add the sugar. So it's one cup of sugar, white sugar, and then it's gonna be one cup of packed brown sugar. So packed means when you put it into your, um, your, um, your cup, you're gonna smush it really down, and I've already done that. So you're gonna really smush it down. Why? Because brown sugar is white sugar and you add molasses. So a little bit of air gets into that and it kind of expands because of the liquid. So you're gonna pack down, you're gonna push really hard, really hard. Let's, you want me to do it together? Let's do it. Okay, push really hard, really, really hard. There we go, okay. So I packed it down and you're gonna add that because when you measure it, you wanna make sure that it's actually, exactly one cup. Now you're gonna add, uh-oh, I see a shell there. Okay, now you're gonna add two eggs and did you know that I have 4,000 chickens. We have a farm where we have 4,000 chickens and we sell eggs to our grocery stores, to restaurants, to a college. We eat the eggs. So these are BSB farm eggs. So we're gonna add two eggs to our batter. Sorry about that. My son Joshua made a vegetable soup for our pastor's wife because she's not feeling good. So now we're gonna add two teaspoons of vanilla. Now that we have all of our wet ingredients together, we're now gonna mix it. So get your mixer going, and you just wanna mix it until it's just mixed. You wanna keep doing it over and over. Mm. It smells so good. For my cookies, I have chosen to do Andy's Mint and cheesecake chips. So because of that, sorry about that, that's my daisy. When people come in, she barks. So I'm gonna actually add one teaspoon of peppermint extract. There we go. Ooh, that smells good. Just so it's a little minty. You can add anything if you would like to add, um, they make strawberry extracts, they make lemon, lime, chocolate. You can add whatever flavor you want. Or you know what, maybe you just wanna stick with vanilla. Just stick with vanilla. But because I'm gonna do a, an Andy's Mint, like Andy's Mint is like the candy bar that is like minty, like a peppermint patty. So I wanna make sure that I add a little mint to it so when people eat my cookies, or my kids eat my cookies, and whoever else comes over, they'll smell and taste that mint. So that's why I added the mint to mine. We're gonna set this aside and now we're gonna do our dry ingredients. So this is called the wet ingredients. Now this is the dry. And you need a whisk. I'll be right back so I can grab my whisk. This is a whisk. It makes it easier to go into dry ingredients. So you're gonna add your one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of salt, and this is three cups of flour. I know it might look like a lot, but remember, I got eight kids. I gotta bake for more than eight, than like 10 people, including me. And then one, I used a big box of vanilla instant pudding dry mix. Now, if you make just one batch, you probably could just get a smaller box. And now, oh, looks like some of my salt didn't get in there. Now we're gonna take our whisk and we're just gonna mix it with the whisk. If you use a spoon, you might not be able to get all of the dry ingredients throughout the whole flour. Um, I would suggest just using a whisk if you have one. And then when you're done, you can just tap it on the top of the bowl. So let's just mix. Whisk, whisk, whisk. We should think of a song for this. Um, I like to whisk my flour and baking soda. I add salt and vanilla pudding mix. Whisk, whisk, whisk. Whisk, whisk, whisk. 
whisk, 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 whisky, whisky, whisk. Wow, that was really good. All right, it's all done. Now we're gonna slowly add it to our wet ingredients in about two seconds. Now we're gonna add the dry ingredients to our wet ingredients and just do a little bit at a time. Here we go. So remember, you're gonna add just a little bit at a time because if you put too much flour in at once, you might not be able to get it all through the batter. So let's get going. <laughs> Remember, what are these cookies called? Not chocolate chip cookie cookies. So I'm gonna show you some different things that you can use instead of using chocolate chips. You can use Reese's peanut butter chips. You can use mini M&Ms. Remember we used these when we made Rice Krispie treats last week? I love mini M&Ms. You can use butterscotch chips. These aren't chocolate chips. You can use heat. This is a candy bar that they've crunched all up and put into a bag. They have a milk chocolate kind, and then they have just a regular heat. So you could use these. And so if you put these in your cookies, they're gonna be kind of crunchy. And look at these. These are Hershey's little tiny white chips. These have stockings and Christmas trees, look at that. And they have little white, um, like gushy stuff inside. I got two bags of those. Was that, yeah. And then Andy's Mint. So this is also like a little tiny mint that sometimes you get them at the restaurants after you eat. Like if you go to Olive Garden, they give you one and they crunch them all up and put them in a bag. So I'm gonna be using these because I wanna make a mint cookie today. And then also, Hershey's came out with cream cheese chips. So yummy. So for today, Mom Bell, I'm gonna be using the cheesecake and the Andy's mint. So when you make your cookies, you can pick any of these and maybe, Maybe you'll even find some more in the store that I didn't even find and you can add them to your cookies. But I suggest picking two. So pick two different kinds that you can put together to make your not chocolate chip cookies super yummy cookies. Now it's time to add our chips. So I'm gonna add my chips. Mm, this is the best part of making cookies is what you add to the batter. Now the batter I gave you you can use this for anything. You can add anything to it. And you know what? It's a secret that my mom shared with me, but she said I could share it with other people. So you can share it with your mom. Or you can share it with your grandma if you want. You can share the secret Mom Bell secret recipe. And now I'm gonna add my cheesecake chips. Now I did do two bags of my Andes because I doubled my batter. All right, here we go. Woo wee. So all you wanna do is just Take it from the sides and mix it in. I actually try and help my kids a lot when they stir things. You don't wanna have to go shh. You just take it and fold it. So folding means you take it and you scoop your hand underneath and you bring it on the top. You actually make bread this way too. So scoop and bring on top and just turn your bowl as you do it. That way you can get, and then when you go down, get those fingers right in there. Oh, my little decorations falling off. You're just gonna scoop it out and go in. There we go. And this way, you'll get all your chips. And if you find chips are on one side, you might have to just mix it a little better. My hands are all clean. I have my dough ready to go and my pans. Make sure that you go turn your oven on 350 degrees with the help of your mom or dad or your grandma. So go get that oven set. Ask your mom and dad, can you please help me? I need to turn the oven on. And so while those are heat, while the oven's heating up, we're gonna start putting our cookies on our pan. Now listen, you have to use a big tablespoon. My mom said that you have to make big cookies. The big cookies are the best. So go grab a tablespoon and we're gonna get putting our cookies onto our pan. I can't wait to see what they're gonna look like. Yes. I've already started putting mine on. So all you do is take your spoon and you don't want too much on there and you're just gonna push it off with your finger. You're gonna scoop it and push it. Scoop it and push it. Scoop it and push it. 
Scoop it and push it. We got a song for everything. Scoop it and push it. You know, I'm going to have to think of some new moves for our upcoming videos. Oh, there's a little too much there. If you have to move some dough over, that'll be fine. I also got my Christmas tree up. It's beautiful and all my decorations. I have some friends coming over today and we're gonna share cookies. We're having a cookie exchange. And so I thought this would be perfect. I would share with you guys my cookie recipe and then my friends get to enjoy it later. That's why I had to do a double batch because I have to share them with my kids. I like to make lots of cookies, so stay tuned. I'm gonna have a lot of cookie videos coming on for your mom and for other kids and for dads to see. All right, so we're gonna keep doing this. Once I get my three pans filled, I'm gonna put them into my stove and you're gonna bake them at 10 to 12 minutes. Now you have to be very careful because I like to over bake my stuff and Mr. Bell, Dad Bell, Pavel, he says, don't over make your cookies. Take them out when you think that they're not done, but they're done. And I really never understood that. I'm like, I don't understand. And so as I started making my cookies, I realized he's right. You don't, you want to take your cookies out when they start to get brown on the edges, but they're not quite done. And do you know why? So what cooks a cookie? Like when you put your cookies or your cakes or brownies in the oven, what how do they cook? So what happens is the heat from the oven, it cooks the batter. So the heat cooks it. And when you take your cookies out of the oven, they don't get cold right away, do they? They have to sit and they have to cool. And who doesn't love a warm chocolate chip cookie? Ooh, yummy. So they'll still keep cooking. So what you wanna do is you wanna take them out when they're almost done because when you take them out of the oven, they're still cooking. And so if you take them out of the oven when they're already brown, you're gonna have really brown cookies because they're gonna keep cooking and then they're gonna be dry and crunchy. And when you bite a cookie, there's crumbs everywhere and their mom's like, pick up those crumbs, you got crumbs all over the house. My kids like to grab cookies and walk around the house. And so I don't want cookies that have crumbs because then I'm gonna be sweeping my house all the time. All right, I'm almost done with my pans. I'm gonna throw them in the oven and then I'm gonna come back in 12 minutes so you guys can see how my cookies turned out. And I would love a picture of your cookies. When you guys make your cookies, can you post a picture of your cookies for me so I can see them? Or maybe you have a really good cookie recipe that you wanna share with Ma Bell. I would love that because I am the cookie queen. I actually crown myself, maybe this is my crown. This is my cookie queen crown. Do you like my cookie queen crown? My cookie Christmas queen crown. Can you say that five times? Cookie queen crown. No, cookie queen crown. Wait, cookie queen crown. Crown cookie queen. Oh man, I'm all messed up. All right, we'll be back 10 to 12 minutes. My cookies turned out amazing. I even let David and Papa Bell try the cookies and they said, mmm, so good. Thank you so much for joining me in making our not chocolate chip cookies, cookies. So what are you gonna pick out? Let me know if you make cookies, take a picture of your cookies and put them on the comments so I can see all those beautiful cookies. Thank you so much for joining me and for next week, I'm gonna share with you what you need. You're gonna need a package of Oreos, some white icing, pick a color of chips, they make these chips called melting chips and they have different colors. They're about this big and you can find them in the part of the grocery store that makes candies and cookies and cake mixes for decorating stuff like Wilton is a good brand. So find a couple colors because we're gonna need to melt those. Also, you need a white plate about this big Oh, my stove is trying to cool off. And you're gonna need green yarn, a brown crayon, a yellow crayon, and a hole puncher if you have one. So next week we're gonna be doing a treat and a craft and it's all a Christmas tree theme. So I'm super excited for that. I got all my stuff I need already. I can't wait to come back next week and do a Christmas tree themed craft and a treat for our family. 
So thank you so much for joining me. Let's end with the song. Let's do Jingle Bells. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Hey! Thank you so much. See you next week on Kids Corner with Mom Bell.